Jerome Brunner Constructivist Theory Jerome Seymour Brunner, born on a year of 1915 and died in the year of 2016. He was an American psychologist made significant contributions to human cognitive psychology. He was born blind and underwent surgery at the age of two. After his sight restored, he spent the rest of his life trying to understand how the human mind perceived the world, leading to influential advances in education. He is an educator who developed on theories of perception, learning, memory, and other aspects of cognition in young children that had a strong influence on the American educational system. Brunner was concerned with how knowledge is represented and organized through different modes of thinking or representation. In his research on the cognitive development of children, he proposed the three modes of representation. First is the inactive representation, which is the representation of knowledge through actions. Second is the iconic representation, which is the visual summarization of images. Last is the symbolic representations, which is the use of words and other symbols to describe experiences. Brunner's work also suggests that a learner even of a very young age is capable of learning in any material so long as the instruction is organized appropriately. Brunner's three modes of representation are the way in which information or knowledge are stored and encoded in memory. So now, let's go further to his mode of representations. First is the inactive representation. This mode is within the first year of life corresponding with Piaget's sensory meter stage, which is thinking is based on entirely physical actions and infants learn by doing rather than by internal representation or thinking. Or in other hand, there is a direct manipulation of objects without any internal representation of the objects. For example, a baby shakes a rattle and hears a noise. The baby has directly manipulated the rattle and the outcome was a pleasurable sound. In the future, the baby may shake his hand even if there is no rattle, expecting his hand to produce the rattling sounds. This mode continues later in many physical activities, such as learning to ride a bike. Second is the iconic representation. It appears from 1 to 6 years old. This stage involves an internal representation of external objects, visually in the form of a mental images or icons. For example, a child drawing an image of a tree or thinking an image of a tree. An image of a tree would be representative of this stage. This may explain why, when we are learning a new subject, it is often helpful to have diagrams or illustrations to accompany the verbal informations. Third is the symbolic representation from seven years and up. This mode is corresponding to Piaget's concrete operational stage, where information is stored in the form of code or symbol such as language. Each symbol has a fixed relation to something it represents. In this stage, most information stored as words like mathematical symbols or in other symbol systems such as music. For example, a student in math understands that the plus sign means to add numbers and the minus sign means to subtract numbers. Brunner believed that all learning occurs through the stages just I discuss or present. Brunner's constructivist theory simply means that the teacher should teach their students depending on their cognitive capabilities.